dipole moment and molecular structure. So in the case of polyatomic molecules, the dipole moment depends upon the spatial arrangement of bonds in a molecule. Let us discuss some examples. First one, carbon dioxide. Shape of carbon dioxide is linear. Okay. So in this case, the dipole will be in opposite direction and COCO bond. So they are equal and in opposite direction. So dipole, since the dipole are in opposite direction, they will cancel each other and net dipole will be zero. Okay. So we can say carbon dioxide is a non-polar molecule. In the case of linear molecule, the angle is 180 degree. Okay. Now, let us take the next example, H2O molecule. H2O molecule is bent shape, like this. Okay, this is the shape of the molecule and the angle HOH bond is 104.9 degree. And the electron move towards the shifts towards more electronegative atom. Okay, so the electron pair shifts more towards more electronegative atom and the angle and the two bonds are oriented at an angle of 104.5 degree. Okay, so there will be a resultant dipole and the resultant dipole will be in this direction and the resultant dipole mu is found to be 1.85 d. Okay. So, we can say H2O molecule is a polar molecule with a dipole moment 1.85 d. Or we can say mu is equal to 1.85 into 3.3564 into 10 raised to minus 30 coulomb meter. Okay. 3.564 into to minus 30 coulomb meter. Okay, this will be the mu. Next, tetraatomic molecules. Example, third one, BF3. The shape of this molecule will be like this. And the angle is 120 degree. Okay. So, electron shifts more towards more electronegative atom. Like this. Okay. So, here these two bonds, the resultant dipole will be in this direction. And here this will be in this direction. So, what will happen? Since they are in equal and in opposite directions. The dipole will cancel each other and the dipole will be equal to 0. Okay, the dipole will be equal to 0. Now, let us discuss the fourth compound, NH3. It is a tetraatomic molecule and the central nitrogen atom contains a lone pair and it is surrounded by three NH bonds. Okay. And the shape of the molecule is pyramidal. This is due to the lone pair of electrons. Three NH bonds are present. Since nitrogen is more electronegative, the electron shifts more towards the nitrogen atom. So, what will happen? Here, it contains a lone pair. So, there will be dipole due to this lone pair also which is called as orbital dipole. Okay. So, there will be a resultant dipole in this direction. So, mu will be very high, which will be equal to 1.49 d. So, NH3 is a polar molecule and BF3 is a non-polar molecule. Okay. In the 
case of CH4, another tetramolecule, and CCl4, in these two molecules are symmetrical in shape. So what will happen? Dipole cancel each other and that dipole will be zero. So they are non-polar molecule. Okay. These are some of the examples of tetraatomic molecules and their dipole. Now, let us compare the two molecules NH3 and NF3. We know both are having the pyramidal structure. Okay, but their dipoles are dif different. The mu for NH3 is found to be 1.490. Okay, which is greater than NF3. In the case of NF3, mu is found to be 0.25, which is very small compared to NH3. This is due to certain reasons. Now, let us draw the figure, the structures of both the compounds. In this case, if we compare nitrogen and hydrogen, nitrogen is more electronegative and the electron shift towards the nitrogen atom like this. Okay. And due to this orbital dipole, the resultant dipole will be very high, which is found to be 1.49 D. But in the case of NF3, fluorine is more electronegative than nitrogen. So what will happen? Electron shifts in the opposite direction. Okay. So, the dipole of these three bonds will be in this direction and the orbital dipole will be in this direction. So, they will cancel each other and the total dipole, the net dipole will be reduced to 0.25 D. Due to this reason, even though they both of them are having the pyramidal structure, their dipole moments are different. Okay.